Hello everyone, it's Veronica. Well, you might as well call me She-Hulk because I'm about to drop some big green truth bombs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. When I'm mad, my brain just kind of... <sighs> Not that I can control what comes out of my mouth on a normal day. So, why am I so pissed off today, you ask? Well, it all started a couple days ago when I came across this cabin. I had been living out of my car for about a week, and I found this place in the middle of nowhere. I needed to regroup, I needed to find a decent internet connection, and I figured this place was as good as any. From what I can tell from the pictures on the walls, a middle-aged guy lived here, and alone from the looks of it. He probably split a while ago based on the dust that settled. Ugh. Anyways, this guy has an awesome DVD collection. It's the full series of the X-Files, Lost, Chuck, and my personal favorite, Fringe. You know, I'm pretty sure Walter Bishop is my spirit animal. He has a bunch of cool trinkets. A Delta Flyer, a Buffy Summers ID badge, he even saw Zach Levi on Broadway. Ooh, a dollar. Exterminate. Exterminate. You know, I would totally marry this guy if he wasn't a 45-year-old lumberjack. He's probably dead anyways. Which brings me to why I am so pissed off. I spent the last couple days marathoning Game of Thrones only to realize we'll never find out who takes the Iron Throne. Along with the majority of the population, pop culture is officially dead. Well, deader than it was after Miley Cyrus twerks on a freaking teddy bear. I'm sorry, Mindy, I know you love Hannah Montana. But seriously, I'll never get to see Castle and Beckett get married, or if Carl ever bites it on The Walking Dead. I'll never see that Chuck movie that we all know was going to happen. Or meet Kate Mulgrew. This apocalypse is really fucking up all my plans. I mean, it's not even... What the fuck? Who was trying to hack into my feet? Whoa. This actually worked. Who the fuck are you? You know, Veronica, you probably shouldn't broadcast your location to the entire world. Someone might be listening and come find you. Like that lumberjack could be on his way right now to accept your marriage proposal. <laughs> he could be a total creeper. Uh, you're obviously the creeper. And you're fucking with my feed. So are you going to tell me your name, or am I going to have to hack into your computer and find out all your dirty little secrets? By all means, hack away. Okay, okay, you can, you can stop that now. I'll tell you anything you want to know. My name's Dylan. All right, Dylan. Why did you hack into my feed? Because I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> Been following you for a while now. Actually, before... Before the world went crazy. So you are some kind of creepy stalker. What? No, no, I just... I dabble in computer science and, you know, I was... Been trying to get a hold of you for a while and... Ever since you talked about that bad wolf code, I've been trying to get through to you. It's just taken me a while for it to actually happen. Wait, you know about the code? Yeah, I discovered it around the same time you did. I, I don't really know what it means, but I was doing some research and I... You know, we probably shouldn't talk about this here or say anything. You never really know who's listening. Oh, come on. You have to tell me. The more I know about this code, the better chance I have of reversing its effects. Alright, well, your talk of uh, Skynet got me thinking. I don't think you're that far off. I mean, I know it's not Skynet, but, you know, what kind of person would plant a code or a, a virus, if you will, that would wipe out the entire race? If we've reached the point and moment of technological singularity, then we're screwed. I, there's nothing we can do. Do you really think we've reached the point where technology has surpassed human intellect? 
If that's the case, then we still may have a shot. Um, what's so funny? Wow, you just, you took it so seriously. All I had to do was put in a few key words and you're off running with a plan. <laughs> okay, sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend you. Look, I have no idea what's going on. I, I have some computer hacking skills, but this whole code thing is way, way outside my skill set. You're kind of an ass, aren't you? <sighs> uh, yeah, I've been told that a time or two. So, you have nothing to offer me but sarcasm. You know what? I was really hoping you would actually be able to help. I still can. I'm a great conversationalist. We could try and talk and figure this thing out. You could bounce some ideas off me. Plus, I have some orphan black theories that I want to run by you. You know what? No thanks. You seem like the kind of guy I've spent my entire life trying to avoid. I'm not going to lower my standards just because you might be the last guy on earth. Ouch. That hurts. Goodbye, Dylan. Wait. Just stop. Look, I haven't talked to anybody in weeks. Um, so if you just hang on a second, I promise I'll try not to be an ass. Scout's honor. You were a boy scout? Yeah. For like a month. My brother's about to die. I'll tell you what, you have a week to look at that code and come up with something useful. Then we can discuss becoming vlog pen pals. Deal. I won't let you down. Yeah, you better not. This is Dylan, signing off. Well, that was bizarre. I was planning on ranting some more about pop culture, but Dylan killed whatever anger buzz I had going, so... I guess that's it for now. I'm definitely going to ramp up security on my feed. This is Veronica, signing off.